we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright studio vlog of 2021. So I know 2020 wasn't the best year ever, let's face it, but we are going to look forward to this year and hopefully there'll be lots of exciting things to come. It is Saturday the 2nd of January today and I am back in the studio as you can see for the first time since like before Christmas. I think it was like the 20... 20th? I may have been doing some work and then I finished and had a bit of a break and it is so good to just have some time off. It was really lovely just to kind of switch off completely. I didn't have my full-time job and I don't go back to my full-time job till Monday and as much as I love Blink, it's, it was just lovely to just completely switch off. I feel like I've forgotten how to do this. Like, my brain's not really working in terms of talking to the camera. <laughs> what have I done today? So today I had... So I left my Etsy shop open uh, while I was off and just extended the shipping times. And I'm just about to actually put my Etsy shop all back to normal. So I have spent today mainly doing Etsy orders. I had quite a slow morning, just kind of easing myself back into it. Went for a nice walk. I haven't rushed too much. I've just really enjoyed the process of making orders. I thought I'd talk to you now because earlier I got quite an exciting package and I haven't actually opened it yet. So I'm gonna open it with you. I have quite a lot of crackers left over from Christmas, which probably surprised you because I know I did a load of crackers. Uh, but I did end up like panic ordering quite a few towards the end because I just, I don't know, it was quite stressful. Uh, didn't need to run out. So I do have quite a few left, which obviously I can use for Christmas next year. But I was thinking of ways that I could, sorry, this is probably really loud. I was thinking of ways that I could use them for other occasions. And the main occasion we have coming up next, oh, they are a lot bigger than I expected. The next occasion we have coming up is Valentine's Day. So when the package arrived, it was a lot smaller than I expected. And now the thing inside is even smaller. But these are real rose petals. petals. So they are freeze dried real rose petals. Inside there's real rose petals. Uh, they're a lot bigger than I expected, but now thinking about it, rose petals are quite big so i don't really know what i was expecting but these are so cool so the plan is to sell valentine's day crackers which i thought would just be a really lovely way to kind of 
make the evening feel really special especially because people might not be able to go out for dinner by then who knows so the plan is is you can either buy it as a set of one so you just get one cracker and inside you'll get some rose petals and you'll get a little a6 piece of paper and either you can have it blank or you can have it um with a printed message on you can roll it up like a little scroll and stick a love heart sticker on it and then you can fill it with your own gift so especially if you wanted to propose you could put a ring inside and it's a cute little way of proposing and then the other plan is to also sell it as a set of two so you can have it at the dinner table so rather than it being a gift it's more of a dinner table like you have a christmas and uh, that idea would be that you only get blank sheets of paper and you can write each other a little message to put inside the crackers and you make them up and you can put gifts inside as well so you can give each other a little treat with some valentine's crackers so i'm really excited i've got these i'm just waiting for some paper to come because i want it to be uh the message to be printed on really lovely like linen hammered textured paper yeah i'm super excited about that so it's about 5 p.m now it's it's got all dark outside uh, I am just going to catch up on a load of admin for the rest of the day. So answering any emails that I haven't replied to yet. Uh, changing my Etsy shop to back to normal. And the thing I'm most excited about is actually writing my goals for this year. And I am going to be filming a 2021 goals video tomorrow, which will also go up tomorrow. So if you haven't seen that yet, then be sure to go and check that out. Good morning, guys. Oh, is it morning? Yes, it's just about morning still. So it's Sunday today. Uh, last night I got really into uh, doing some bits in my bullet journal. So I just did a little monthly spread just to kind of have an overview of everything I'm doing in the month. So it's, it's nothing crazy. I'm not going for like beautiful bullet journaling with loads of illustrations. I'm just going for something simple. The one thing I have started illustrating though is my goals page. I just thought if I made this a bit more visually interesting then it can get me excited for when I reach my goals and just keep me motivated as well. So I'm going a bit creative with that page but then I'm just gonna stick to my standard weekly layouts that I was doing previously. So they're just like that. It's, it's nice and simple and it just uh, enables me to keep track so I just have a to-do box and then a box for each day basically um so what am I doing for the rest of the day I'm just basically filming today I have a wedding suite that I need to finish off so that's invitation details card and RSVP it's quite exciting that there are wedding weddings happening this year hopefully hopefully they will happen and then I also have a commission to do quite a large quote and I need to get the initial design over to the client. So I'm gonna try and get that done at some point today as well. But we'll see how I get on. my first day back at work since before Christmas so my full-time job 
so I did that 9 till 5.30 and it was nice being able to chat to colleagues again, obviously video chat, and just get back into a bit more routine. This morning I went for like a gentle walk slash run uh, to the post boxes. So I had to go to the post box across the road, but then also to the parcel box, which is a little bit further away. And that was just nice to kind of have some time outside to myself and just enjoy my surroundings. So that's my aim for this year, just to enjoy things like that a little bit more and help my mental health. So I have been working since the end of um, my day job. So I have been doing some wedding stationery invitation design, which I can't really show you, I'm afraid. But I am now going to be doing some Etsy orders. So I've got some Etsy orders in today, which is lovely. And then I've got another commission that I need to do and just sort my emails out because they're piling up and I don't want that to happen again. So we are just going to do that. I also got something, um, I was going to say kind of cool in the post, but it's probably really boring. But basically when I edit these videos, I'm having issues with putting the video footage that I film onto my computer because it's just so big. It's just taking up lots of space. So I needed to get a new hard drive. And then the idea is, is I'll transfer the video footage from the SD card in this camera straight onto my hard drive and store everything on there and also edit my footage from there. So yeah, I just need a new hard drive and I had a little search around and I literally put into Google best hard drive for YouTuber. This tiny little thing came up the most. So this is the Samsung uh, T5 hard drive and it's a solid state drive which makes it super fast compared to normal hard drives and I also liked it because it came with a USB-C connector so I can just plug it straight into my MacBook and not have to have lots of different extensions but look how tiny that is for a hard drive like how cool is that so this is one terabyte and it is pricey it was like 140 pounds um, I got it from Amazon so I will leave a link for it in the description below but I just love it because it means that I can still sit curled up on the sofa and edit footage but this isn't like huge so it can just like sit next to me rather than having like a big hard drive super happy with it <laughs> Hi 
guys, it's Tuesday evening now and I have, um, yeah, had a busy evening doing some work so I just sent a commission over to a client which hopefully they'll like, it's just the first draft at the moment and what else have I done, I've just been kind of sorting my emails out a little bit, um, did an Instagram post for my calendars and I popped to the post box earlier to drop off some orders so I had a nice little run there which was great it was yeah just nice to get outside uh, I haven't had too many orders today so I'm saving it until tomorrow to do any more orders just to bulk them up together a little bit uh, it's definitely much quieter than it was before Christmas definitely not getting as many orders in but that's fine, it's enabled me to concentrate on a few different things and I have a few bits of like other work come in, uh, like a commission for a magazine and um, some content creation. So it's keeping me busy this week. Um, I still am in the process of designing my Valentine's Day bits, um, need to kind of get that up again but I'm waiting for some paper so I don't know when that's going to arrive hopefully that'll arrive soon it's been a bit of a weird day today it's day one of lockdown 3.0 um to be honest things haven't really changed too much for myself and my partner because we haven't really been going out anywhere we've been in tier for a little while and even before Christmas, we were being as safe as possible and not really meeting anyone at all. So I could see my mum at Christmas. I didn't want to put her at risk. So for us, it's not changed too much. There's obviously always the uncertainty with jobs and things like that. But I think we're just trying to stay positive. But I know there's so many people out there who are really badly affected, especially people working the front line who are just not had a chance to even think and I know that there's lots of people out there who are still struggling with their own businesses or perhaps being furloughed so just reaching out to all of you guys I'm so sorry that this is happening again but hopefully this means that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and we'll be through it soon and we can look forward to hopefully a kind of normal summer yeah we just gotta stay positive um i actually feel completely exhausted it was my first day today starting work at 7 a.m and i think my body's in a bit of a shock to be honest because i haven't got up that early for like two weeks so it's five to ten now i am going to get ready for bed and get into bed and read a book and just completely wind down i have not finished everything i want to do tonight I haven't been as productive as I wanted to be and part of the reason I haven't been productive is because I've had my phone with me the whole evening which is something I said I wouldn't do so tomorrow when I'm doing blink work this is going in a different room oh but I did do this I think it's too bright oh there you go so I created a nice little wallpaper for phone, desktop and tablet and I sent that to all of my email subscribers tonight and I've already had a couple of people say that they've got them on their phones which is super exciting. So big thank you if you've done that. Uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow and yeah just sending you all lots of loves, hugs and just we can get through this together. I have just spent my time after work doing a commission for Create and Craft, so I was just getting that done. The deadline's not until Friday, but I just want to get it all done today, so if there are any changes they need doing, then there's still time. Um, I am just unpacking quite an exciting package. So, 
you're obviously aware that I do a lot of foiling. I'm sure you've seen it before if you've watched my studio vlogs. And I needed some more foil. I need to stock up on colours. And normally I use mink foils, which are great. And they're not too expensive. But I use Patsy May's copper foil. And you just get so much more on a roll. I think you get like 25 metres on a Patsy May roll. But you get five meters on a mink foil roll um i've gone for the shorter width so these were i think these were six pounds i can double check ten pounds basically just need to stock up on my bog standard colors so i've got blue i've got my red i've got my tealy turquoise i ordered some white and then I realised that I already have quite a bit of white. It was just hiding away. But no harm in having some white. Uh, and I got my hot pink. And they gave me some like extra bits of foil. that They're like kind of sparkly bits of foil. So I've got my pink. And I've got my green. And then I also got some iridescent. So the mink iridescent. I do like. But it just looks like it's made out of limes and I got some deco foil recently and it's not really made of like can you see it feels like it's a more solid iridescent color whereas this one you can see the lines now the issue with deco foil is I can only find this specific holographic one in their sheets and their sheets are really small so if I'm doing an A4 piece it's not big enough and I'm intending to use these for some Valentine's prints I'm bringing out. So I thought I'd try out their Patsy May's holographic foil. Yeah, that's perfect. Look at that shine. That is beautiful. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And then, even more excitingly, I bought another new foil colour. Which I'm super excited by it's rainbow look how pretty this is <gasps> that is bloody beautiful tonight i have quite a few etsy orders to actually i think i had like nine today which is super exciting uh considering it's january and it's after christmas uh, that's really lovely. I've had quite a few calendar sales, which is standard. And then my affirmation boxes have been quite popular, especially today. I feel like people are looking for pick-me-ups with the whole world being a bit poop right now. I am going to crack on with those Etsy orders now. Just need to get them done. <laughs> kind of day off blink yesterday which I promised myself to do this year and it was really lovely to spend some good quality time with the bearded one however mentally I wasn't in a good place there was lots of bad news yesterday in the world and especially in the UK and I think it just kind of 
got to me a lot. I know people are going through some really hard times at the moment and I just felt so sad for everyone who is. So it wasn't like the fun filled evening we had planned. It was a bit more of a kind of emotional chill veg on the sofa which to be honest I think I needed after getting back into work so I obviously had like two weeks off and then going back into working 7 till 3.30 every day and then no blink after work I was exhausted so yeah it was quite chilled yesterday and then this morning didn't get out of bed till like half 10 which for me is like crazy late normally I'm out by like 9 at the latest that's that's a lie for me 9 um, but yeah, I think my body needed to just have some chill. So, my plans for today have jiggled a little bit considering what I wanted to do. Um, I do have some client work that I need to do this weekend, but I think I'm going to shift that to tomorrow. And I'm going to spend today doing print tests for all of my Valentine's products that I want to launch. So you would have seen that I unpacked some foils, which I'm really excited about. Yesterday I also received some more paper samples, um, so I wasn't entirely happy with the cards that I was using for my greetings cards. So I have got some more cards, and this is super smooth, so I'm hoping I can foil on it easily as well. But it's also 350 GSM. Which just, it just feels so much more substantial than my other card and it, it feels so nice. So I need to do some tests with that because my Valentine's cards are a bit more bright and colourful compared to what I've done before. I've also bought some textured paper. So again, you probably won't be able to see that on camera, but basically for my Valentine's crackers, I want to make it so you have little scrolls to put in. And I thought some nice texture paper would be good for that. So yeah, today is just going to be a day of testing out prints. I've got some full prints I want to test out, got my greetings cards I want to test out. And then tomorrow I want to do like the photography and preparing for everything like that. So I'm going to do the client work tomorrow then as well because I'll need to set up my like photo lights for that too. So I might as well kind of bunch those jobs together. Uh, I'll take you along for the ride. We can see how this foil testing goes and just have fun with it. Foil testing is always a nightmare because it never works how you want it to work, but fingers crossed it will work how I want it to work this time. Oh, 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 oh,
so it is getting quite late on Saturday now. I'm really happy with how all of my test prints have gone today. I also had so much fun doing those hearts on the silhouette uh, machine and I bought that like back in September and I didn't really use it at all for Christmas so I'm gonna try and start doing more stickers because I actually had so much fun creating just those hearts and that wasn't even really designing anything um so I'm definitely gonna do a Valentine's sticker sheet and then I think I might um start bringing out some other stickers because uh yeah it's really just fun creating it uh as i said it's getting quite late on saturday now and i am gonna call it a day on this vlog so i hope you've enjoyed the first week of 2021 my first studio vlog of the year uh it's been a bit of a all over the place vlog don't think anything specific has happened but it's been like fun creating the test prints for Valentine's and I will be launching my Valentine's collection next week. I've put down the 14th in my diary, which is Thursday, but I'm a bit worried that I'm leaving it a little bit too late. So I might see how much I can get done tomorrow. And if I do, then I'll try and launch on Monday night. I do need to edit this vlog too though. So that's why I'm gonna call it a night. I think I'm gonna edit it tonight. I'm gonna cook some dinner sit on the sofa and then tomorrow it's going to be a busy day of photographing all of my products for the valentine's collection and also doing this um client work that i need to do which shouldn't take me too long to be honest a little bit pooped but i'm gonna get up early tomorrow so i can be super productive i hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and i hope you will join me for my adventures this year of running a business and working full time it's a lot of work but i'm enjoying it thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys very soon bye